Every piece is a battle between good and evil. These guys are revolutionary. This is our culture, this is pop culture, and it's in your face. I think my work is very provocative. I think it strikes a chord with people. I think it's dope and I think it's different. And you know, I've heard people say, I've never saw anything like this. And I'm like, you sure? And they said, no, we haven't saw anything like this. I think people that are buying this art, they're like, I'm never gonna sell this. I'm connected to this. I just spoke to me and it's like, oh wow, that's pretty dope. I don't like to be the type of artist that try to make people figure it out. They try to interpret what it really means, but I think once they look at it and see it, they're like, oh, f this, we, I, I get it. I, I know exactly what it means. That's what I think art should be. My name is Roger J. Carter. I'm an artist here on the south side of Chicago. At the centerpiece, there's always this epic battle between good and evil. So right now, they have had this Mandalorian thing. And then I have the soldiers pointing in a way where the soldiers are not necessarily fighting against each other. You, you really don't know what side they're on. I think that's the kind of way society is, in, in, in a sense. I'm not trying to confuse you. I'm not trying to make money. I'm just trying to tell an honest message on how, how I view the world and quite honestly how everyone. I think a lot of people feel the same way. Most people agree with it. I really haven't had any negative feedback. It's like, okay, we get it. We, we understand what you're trying to do. And people are passionate about it, especially in Chicago. Chicago's a tough market. You got to impress somebody in Chicago, man. You got to be coming with it. I do understand color and understand layout from being like a software engineer and a web designer at one point. It's not just yellow, it's shades of yellow or it's shades of gray and it's not just one color. I just think a good black and white image, this contrast right, really pops out. Most faces I always do in black and white. I may do a uniform or something in color. You know, it's like I'm the dude that's making the art. It's not like we have a factory of workers in here, but once I've figured out a process, maybe we can have someone source this material, I paint it, and then I put everything together. And once we got to that point, I knew we would be able to get work out a lot faster. Some people buy art to collect art to maybe sell it, or they look at it as, you know, an investment. But I think people that are buying this art, it's, they're like, I'm never gonna sell this. I'm never gonna sell this. I'm connected to this. I just spoke to me. And it's like, oh wow, that's pretty dope. You turn the people who's really not into art into collectors, surely but surely. And um, that's kind of how it has to be, you know? I just thought I can do these revolutionary. I said, this is just gonna be a series anyway. It's gonna fizzle out, but it's gotten bigger, <laughs> right? It's like a, every day we're getting a new commission. You know, and the thing about it, I'm not bored yet. Every artist gets bored and they wanna do something different. But uh, right now I'm liking it and I think it's evolving a little bit. And so I'm not done yet. <laughs> This is art about the culture. This is art about us. Black folks don't necessarily see themselves in art or in the Art Institute or anything like that. So, you know, with the advantage of social media and things like that, and, and someone like me who really don't give a what people think, I'm gonna just put it out there and say, hey, these guys are revolutionary. This is our culture, this is pop culture, and it's in your face.